I'm Bob Grove, service technician from Printistat. Uh, today, we are looking at an HP PageWide XL4100, and we walked up on this machine and uh, see that it has encountered a paper jam. So I'm gonna walk you through some steps that you may need to use to resolve the jam. So we're gonna be looking at four main areas of the machine through the paper path uh, to discover paper and remove it. So first possible area that you could encounter a jam would be in the roll drawer itself. As the paper negotiates from the roll holder to the cutter, it could jam up in here and you have access to the front by pushing those two levers on the top. Now this is your cutter unit right here where the paper could be jammed. You would just unwind the paper, make a fresh trim cut with a razor knife or whatever and refeed the roll. Make sure your front cover's latched on both sides before you would close the drawer then. The paper would then leave the roll drawer and come up to this front transport area here, which you again have access to, to lower, just like that. When the paper leaves the roll drawers, it's gonna come up over this plate here and into the front of the machine here. This is another location that you could use to remove paper that's jammed. From there, we're gonna go to the top of the machine where in this case our jam has occurred. So you raise your stacker guides there. And this opens up like that. So you can access from the rear to any paper that is still within the machine down below here. In this case, our print has traveled beyond that and is strictly jammed in the top stacker area. So it leaves that lower area and comes to the back here. And you can see some of the paper sticking out there. So you would just, whichever's more convenient, depending on the length of paper that's revealed, you can remove it from down here or from the top. Just like that. Okay. So this will be an area here, the, the final area of paper path. So then we just make sure we close everything up. Just like this. One more in the front. And what the machine's gonna do now, um, they do use multiple sensors to monitor and track the timing and the position of the paper as it travels through the machine. So we'll click OK. And then check now. The machine's gonna use those sensors to ensure that there's no more paper remaining or that all the sensors are working properly. If it sees no paper and, and everything's okay, it'll continue with your job. If there's still an issue, that means either there's still paper remaining, could be in an inconvenient location, maybe it's a little piece torn off somewhere, or it could be a bad sensor or something like that. Uh, if you've done what you can do to resolve a paper jam and you, you still have an issue on the machine, I would direct you to call the service number right here on your sticker and uh, schedule a service tech to come out and resolve that for you. So that's uh, the normal procedures to remove a paper jam.